Hello guys, I'm Bertie of Primarna Soft and welcome in this first video of Weapon History. In this video we'll talk about the MP5. The MP5 is a gun, as you I imagine you know, uh, made from the Eckler and Koch, a German uh, gun factory. The HK-54 was the first version of the MP5, or better, it was the first version or, of what we know today as the MP5. The HK-54 was invented in 1966 and uh, the HK was to mean uh, that it was the Eckler and Koch 5 war for submachine gun and 4 was for the type of cartridges that it shoot. It shoot it a 9 for a 19mm cartridge. Uh, the original cartridges it used were the 9mm parabellum cartridges. The first uh, corp of uh, police that used it was the West Germany Police Corp and after that uh, it was used by the GSG9 and which is an um, anti-terrorism special group of special forces. The GSG9 uh, also with the Operation Nimrod 30 April of the 1980 in England bring the MP5 to be known as what today we can say the gun of the good guy. It, uh, this gun has in fact made his name in the world of the anti-terrorism forces even if it is represented on the logo of a terrorism force that uh, I put it, uh, of which I put it the name right there. The problem of the MP5 was the fact that it shooted 9mm cartridges Thing that it does also today. The problem uh, came when the Kevlar ke began uh, to be used to build body armor and this kind of useful things. The real problem of this kind of armor was that uh, even if for a carbine it was uh, like nothing and the carbine could uh, easily shoot through that, it was a real problem for 9mm cartridges so the MP5 soon became uh, uh, useless against this type of armor. Even the coming of other types of gun make a problem for this uh, and for this for this submachine gun. For example, the G46, the MP7, the AKS64, the M4, etc. Uh, you know all that kind of gun that were that had the capability of penetration of a carbine inside uh, uh, what today we can call a small carbine. They were indeed uh, more or less uh, big as the MP5 and they, their weight were similar. The real problem was that the cartridges that the MP5 shot weren't enough powerful to penetrate the body armor made of Kevlar. That means that uh, often and soon the MP5 had to be replaced uh, with other kind of guns or to be still keep produced, the Eckler and Koch invented at the idea of using different type of cartridges inside that gun. For example, the MP5 after the game of the Kevlar uh, start using 40 Smith & Wesson and 10mm auto cartridges. Uh, now let's say other technical information about that. The MP5 is a submachine gun that can shoot from 650 to 800 shots per minute. These, its magazines are around 15, 40 and 100 shots, 100 rounds. The 15 and the 30 rounds magazines are the standard linear war and the 100, and the 100 rounds magazine is known as the C mag. The MP5 has been used a lot by special forces, as, you know, as we know, 
and uh, between these special forces we have to remember the uh, operation if murder happened the 40th of April of the 1980s in the UK. In this operation the special air forces as also known or better known as the SAS or SAS in Italy or I don't know where people pronounce that like that had to enter in the Iranian embassy in uh, London and uh, they had to stop uh, six terrorists that entered the embassy to take some hostages with uh, angry intentions. They killed most of them with this MP5. The MP5 after this episode has become the great began of good guys. For example, we can say we can see clearly the MP5 as a gun of the good guy in most of games, of the popular games uh, for computer or PlayStation or similar. For example, the MP5 is uh, really used in uh, Counter Strike as the good guy gun, and it has become like popular culture. Mm, the weight of the MP5 is around 2.5 kilos in the original edition or 2.9 from this editions A3 and A5. The original length of the gun was of 49 cm and after it became a 68 cm long rifle with the A3 and after with the version after the A2 A3 it became a 49 and 68 cm long rifle. This means that uh, the reliable stock uh, could make the gun be like a submachine gun when you need it and uh, it could be like a usual carbine or rifle when you need it by simply using the stock. <coughs> the MP5 is also known for its uh, numerous variants for example we remember the MP5K the K is for cool which in Deutsch uh, or excuse me which in German means uh, short. We have to remember the MP56D with an uh, integrated silencer which was made in the 1970s, around that, uh, that year. And the MP5N which was made for the United States Marine Corps. Uh, the N uh, is uh, to say that it's for the Marines. Another version that I want to remember is the MP5K slash uh, PDW, which uh, is uh, another version of the MP5K made in collaboration with the United States government. The MP5 is a great gun, I don't know what you think about it, leave a comment below and let me know what you think about the MP5. Uh, guys, if I saw something wrong, uh, please correct me in the comment section below, I'm not sure. Uh, for who wants to know it, uh, my from where I get information at the moment is only from Wikipedia, even because I don't know where I can find information about the MP5, and for this video I really, really, really a little bit of time. But it's more or less it's 7 o'clock now, so... <laughs> I'm, I'm quite late today. Okay guys, I don't know what to think of this video, let me know it with a like in the like button below, let a comment if you want to know something more about these guns or you want to see more airsoft videos, leave a like, share the video if you liked it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet and see you guys next week.